So, I'm traveling for work again. Yet, with all this change, one thing stays the same. Trouble finding a consistent radio station. Damn you, Kishi, and your catchy beats. Anything good on anymore? Oh. Hey. Matt, why haven't you called me yet? I haven't gotten there yet. You haven't gotten to calling me, or you haven't gotten to your destination? What are you talking about? You got problems. I was worried. Jess, don't be. I'll call you soon. You better. Or else? Be good. <laughs> okay, bye. Our community. What? You can't be serious. No bars. Shit. Something I can help you with? A few minutes ago, my car was working, and uh, now it's stopped. Uh, is there an auto shop nearby? There's a shop about a mile down the road. All right, thanks. I'm Chuck. Matt, nice to meet you. You want a ride? No, nah, I'll be all right, thanks. I got roadside. You sure? It's not recommended to be outside in this heat. On second thought, no. No offense, Chuck, but I don't know you, and I really don't know anything about this place. But thanks for the recommendation. Suit yourself. Well, looking mighty hot out there. Nah, it's pretty mild. Pretty mild, huh? Thank you. Well, you look like a fresh boiled craw, Daddy. No, nah, it's really not bad. And just to let you know, I'm Irish. Sorry, I wasn't trying to infringe on your freedoms. I wasn't. Never mind. So you work here? Uh, yeah, I'm a manager here. 
What were you doing driving around out there? I'm looking for clients. My business is slow. Look at this place. Wait, so why didn't you tell me that before so I didn't have to not trust you and then walk in the heat? If you want to just leave the keys to the car, uh, we'll get the tow truck up there, get her in the shop, have a look at her for you. That'd be dandy. Thanks. Um, and if you want to go ahead and have a seat right out here in the waiting area. I'll do that. Now, Len says you have to come out and take a look at this. Why? Wow, what's going on? Oh, he'll tell you. All right. Now that part there is going to have to be ordered. We'll get here till tomorrow. Tomorrow? What am I going to do till then? I have to be somewhere. Is there any way to get it faster? Nope. Check will help you with the details. Okay. Come on inside. We'll get you straightened out. Now just get your estimate totaled up here. Okay. Now with ports and labor, you're looking at about seven hundred. Seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars? Is that all? Be in touch. I will call you. If that guy's okay. Looks like something's wrong. Yeah, he doesn't look normal. Go talk to him. See if he's all right. Do you want me to go by myself? No worry. I'll be right here watching. Guys are usually more open to girls randomly talking to them. Okay. Are you okay? Me? Yeah, I'm simply fantastic. I'm Kara. Kara, nice to meet you. I'm Matt. My car has failed me and uh, I'm stranded here tonight. So. Things do seem to take a little longer to get around here. Yeah, 
Uh, that's for sure. My boyfriend, Connor, and I are camping around here tonight. You're welcome to come join us. Thanks, but I'm afraid it wouldn't be too much fun. Uh, too stressed out. Well, we'll be over there later eating veggie hot dogs if you decide to change your mind. Thank you. I'll ponder that. Uh, see ya. See you around. Bye, Matt. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing? I'm Matt. Connor. So you're pretty bummed out, huh? Yeah, my car's out of commission till tomorrow. Sucks. Oh, where were you headed? Uh, I was traveling for work. I'm kind of like a traveling manager. Traveling manager? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Neither had I. So, at what point does someone become an uptight square? Connor. Oh, no, I'm just saying, like, it happened to my parents, and... Uh, it's okay, I, I think it happens uh, after five years of having the balls and soul removed. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I don't think that happens until next promotion. Do you ever want to just rebel? Like, did you ever listen to punk rock? I mean, my favorite bands were the ones that had important things to say about society. And they didn't care about what others thought of them. They made sure their message was heard. Bet he's never heard of propaganda. Publicly subsidized, privately profitable, the anthem of the upper tier, upper tier, untouchable, focus a moment, not in approval, bury our heads in the barcodes, these neo-colonials. You know the words the nation states. I wasn't always an uptight square. <laughs> I think uh, what happens is, as you get older, it's like things become more about material possessions and survival and uh, it's almost like the fun gets taken out of things which reminds me uh, I hope I don't get fired uh, that would not be good why are you so worried well my life depends on this job <laughs> oh really yeah you know I have I have bills I have my fiance and what about you me well uh, I guess I like the security. Why? It makes me feel good, like everything's going to be all right. But will it? Um, yeah. Yeah. You don't sound so sure. I mean, you're worried about your fiance and getting fired. That's natural. Uh, no, it's not. It's not? Kara and I, we live free. There's very little worry. What do you guys do for money? We sell jewelry, gather sage, dry it, sell that too. We manage to get what we need. Do you stay here? We're wanderers, we go from place to place. For us, that's our security. Cause there's really no such thing as total security. I don't know if I could ever do that. One thing I've learned during our travels is that everything has a purpose. And usually, it's a decision that's already been made. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what you mean. Something's caused your car to break down, and it's led you here to this conversation with us. Something. The odds are something will happen sooner or later. It wasn't the odds. That's interesting. There's nothing that can contend with what's above us. Why, what's above us? Oh, no, please don't mention that word to me. Fine, so we agree that something created you. I mean, you're here, right? Yeah, at least I think I'm here. <laughs> That's where you come in. 
You need to make this real for me. Yeah, that was real. Here, now. Wait a minute, why the fuck did you just slap me? <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but waking up isn't always easy. But I am awake. All right, okay, I get it. I get it. So, we agree something created you, and we don't fully know what it's capable of, right? Yes. Just relax and don't stress. Later on, it's gonna affect your health. There's nothing you can do about it right now. I never looked at things that way, thanks. Um, but I'm not sure I can relax. Out here, there's a lot of peace in nature. Stay with us for a while. Help clear your mind. All right. I will. Two years back in college, I went for one semester, man. Don't ask me about it, but I picked it up. Nice night last night. Just living life. I was living. It's been a while. I got you, huh? This place will do that to people. Oh? Really? Yeah, there's talks of uh, energy swirls and alternate dimensions and all that hogwash. <laughs> yeah, all that hogwash. All set? Yeah, all set. Say, uh, about how far on your journey did you get before you got stuck here? About halfway. Well, don't get lost out there. I won't. If I do, I'll... Never mind. Thanks, Chuck. Take care of yourself. Will do. Till next time. Back to work, uh, back to my everyday life. My journey goes back to where it was before. It was a nice dream. <laughs>